Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Issa and today we're going to be recreating this look right here. I'm going to be using the stuff that I got in my BoxyCharm for the month of March. I pretty much loved all of these products. I did not know how everything was going to turn out until I opened the box. I did watch Kathleen White's video. You know, she always has like a video before anybody else has their boxy charm. So I did catch it and I did try to open it and see what I got and try to accommodate my makeup. The order that I did my makeup was by the makeup products that I was going to use in the video. So this month's boxy charm is the creepy cute themed. It's really really cute. I really love how they did the little card this month. We got the Urban Rustic palette from Naked Cosmetics. I really really enjoyed and I show you some swatches of how this palette came out. That's for the eyes. And I got the SS023 Deluxe Fan Brush. Uh, by Crown Brushes. This is like such a huge, like look how thick it is. That is a huge, thick fan brush. But I really liked it. And then the Photo Finish Foundation Classic Primer, which is this one. It's just this travel size. But um, I actually did not use this one. I used my own. And then this is going to actually go into the pile for the giveaway. The lip liner is by real hair real hair which i really love real hair's products i got the lipstick from last month and i enjoyed it i enjoy it so much that i use it on a daily basis just because i just love how like the shade is perfect the moisturization and the creamy feeling of the product is awesome so i really love the formula and so i really like real hair i might check them out on my own um, another one that I got is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick by Dirty Little Secrets. And this, it's like an orangish reddish, which I really, really like too. But I kind of toned it down by putting a little bit of the lip liner on top of it. And yeah, those are the products for the month of March. Um, you get a total of 120 or so for the quality amount of the products is that's how much it is but you only pay $20 and I'll have the BoxyCharm link description box below I'm not affiliated with them they don't know who I am I promise because I am not that great or known on YouTube so that's okay I don't mind I just love sharing products that work for me and stuff that works for me and this is like a good for me I always share with you guys because you never know who's gonna have the same uh, problems or same you know stuff that I like you know you might like too so I always list whatever I'm using at the bottom of uh, description below so anything that I did not show on camera I will also be listing just because I know that um, you guys might want to see what highlight I might be using or the bronzer or whatever that it might be I've been I'll be linking it down in the description box if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel to see more videos of me. I will have more spring tutorials, I promise. This is just the second one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. Bye! So, I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyelids, and then I went and set it, put in a transition shade. The transition shade I'm going to be using was the burnt orange from the modern renaissance palette from anastasia beverly hills i'm not wearing foundation today because or i am wearing foundation just not right now because uh i watched kathleen light's video on her boxy charm and she said that the shadows which i happen to get they're really pigmented but they have a lot of fallout so with that being said i didn't put any foundation so that there's no fallout on my face and so i don't have a whole bunch of crazy colors on the face and the first thing i got from the boxy charm is the naked cosmetics urban rustic palette and this retails for 39.99 they are so pretty and I don't know if you can see them. Oh my gosh, I really love these colors, all of these. Let me just go ahead and swatch them for you. Like, they're so pretty. Look at that. And they're so pigmented and I just don't know how I'm going to use them right now. So that's why I just like did like the bare minimum on my eyes so that you guys can see how these 
pigments are gonna be working for us they're still like on my finger that's how pigmented they are not only did I swatch them but they're also still like on my finger first shadow I'm gonna be picking up is the shade Venetian red from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette the only reason why I'm going to do that is I'm gonna like set the crease for the for one of the shades I really don't know where I'm going with this look I kind of have an idea but um, we really won't know how it's gonna look until I until it's all said and done that in the outer corner so now that I have the outer crease looking great I'm gonna go into this purplish maroon shade right here and I'm just gonna put that right into the outer corner along with the same shade that we have already down it's a little bit more purple we're gonna make it work you really just want to dip into it very lightly because a lot of pigment comes off of it. You don't need too much. You want it like a little bit at a time. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this really pretty orange copper shade. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. And I'm just going to pack it right into the center of the lid. Let's just give it a go with some of the, see what it looks like. See what it looks like. Oh my gosh. These shadows just went from a 10 to 100 in like just one spray. I love it. So now I'm going to go back into the Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take Railgar and Venetian Red. I'm going to mix those two together to get this like warm sunsetty shade put that right into the crease make sure that the orange is being blended oh yes give it to me okay i'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll be right back to finish up the rest of the look so since this is just showing off the products i got from proxy charm i'm just gonna put some eyeliner and then go on to whatever i got left in my proxy charm so I'll be right back as soon as I'm done. Sorry, my lashes and my eyeliner on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is prime Z face. I got a primer from my BoxyCharm. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Classic Primer by Smashbox. And it retails for about $16 for the travel size. Um, so that's what they gave us the travel size, it's not the full size. I already have my own. I really love this primer. This primer is actually really good. I noticed that whenever I use this primer, my face stays on a lot longer. And it's just like, it's oil free and it goes good with any of my foundations or most of my foundations. And it really does smooth out my textured skin. Okay. The next thing to do is go in with foundation, so I'll be right back after I've done all that and with the next product. Alrighty guys, so I got the rest of my version. And I'm just going to go right back into the Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. And I'm going to grab this green shade. You thought I wasn't going to use all the colors. I'm just going to grab that green shade. And I'm just gonna go right under the eye. Very, very fallouty. So I'm just going to spritz it a couple times with my Fix Plus. And just go right into that lower lash line and really spruce it up a bit. Alright guys, so it is like very, really pretty color. I really like how it's paired with that. However, for the look that I'm kind of going for, kind of with quotation marks, going for it's not like popping a lot. So I'm going to take the Picasso palette by Morphe and I'm just going to mix this green, like emerald green shade with the lime green. See what I get. I'm just gonna mix that in and blend it in with that lower lash line. Tap it up a, good, a few times because I forget how like pigmented that Picasso palette is. Alright 
guys so the eyes are complete the next thing that i got in my boxy charm was this really pretty big fan brush from crown brushes this is the highlighter i'm going to be using the brush with this is the vintage by jessica Levis Leviskind? Leviskind? I don't know how to pronounce her name. I will link it down below. And I'm just going to go into the Rose Quartz. Really pretty highlighting shade. And I've never used a really big like brush, so we'll see how this goes. It's definitely got a wet look to it. Oh, there you go. Maybe you could just see it on this side better. I'm not going to lie, this brush is giving me life right now. It's pretty good. I like it. Um, maybe not for my face. My face is really, really small. I will definitely be using it. You could probably even use it to contour out and chisel those cheeks. And then the next thing to go into the face with is the lips. This is some Real Her Expert Advice Lip Liner. And it is in the shade I Am Unique. Reminds me a lot of the ColourPop ones. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this with the look that I'm wearing today. <gasps> Let's see. And then, of course, it has to be really different. The um, Dirty Little Secrets Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Phantom. Very pigmented. Those are the swatches on the hand for that. I think I'm going to go in with the lipstick really quick and see what I can do. Um, not sure what it's going to look like, so we'll be right back. So this is how the lipstick dried out. I'm not complaining. I just don't think that this is the lipstick for the look that I'm going for today. I like the lipstick. Um, I think I'm going to probably try to wear it in one of my other tutorials, but let's see how this lip liner plays out. I'm going to try to tone it down with the lip liner, see what I can do. The lipstick should definitely not be more vibrant than the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow is super vibrant already. So we'll see what I can do at this moment. Alright guys, so I warmed up the lipstick a little bit. It came out like this. Kind of reminds me of the MAC uh, Ruby Woo lipstick, which is one of my favorites. So I have nothing to complain about either one of those products, except for maybe that the Dirty Little Secrets uh, liquid lipstick is a little bit streaky, but nothing you can't fix, nothing you can't just go over and over until it comes out pigmented enough. Uh, I really love how it turned out. I know it's out of my comfort zone and I usually wouldn't wear this anywhere. And yay BoxyCharm for, you know, coming up with these products and putting them in my BoxyCharm so that I'm able to use them. That's the great thing about this BoxyCharm is that, you know, it's well over like $100 worth of products and you usually get like the full size and you're only paying like 20 bucks per box you know so it's a really great deal I really feel like I get the most out of these products and I really love you most of them like I haven't had any problems with any of my boxycharm I'm kind of shook guys I wouldn't wear this usually and maybe I should probably take off the necklace so that it kind of matches with what I'm wearing I basically kind of look like a watermelon without the seeds uh, but that's okay with me. I really like it and I might go to Walmart just going like this. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you do have any more questions. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! You just need a synthetic brush and the will to blend. I don't know. I don't know why I said that actually. See what it tastes like. See what it tastes like. No. That is hella bright. St. Patrick's Day, here we come. And today is St. Patrick's Day, so I can say that.
probably won't be when I post the video though, so.